Hello, thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. This is a channel where we explore new trends in technologies, including cloud computing, Python programming, artificial intelligence, machine learning, and similar. Uh, we were earlier recorded um, a few tutorials on Node-RED, showing the functionality and capability of this uh, great tool, um, especially used in IoT and IIoT um, industries. Today, we are going to look at Node-RED and one of the core node functions which is change the change node so earlier we uh, did a tutorial on the inject node and I will paste the uh, link to that uh, video here and uh, today we look going to look at the change node it is again a very powerful node and um, it is uh, used for modifying the content of messages within the flow it uh, allows us to add, remove, modify or set different message properties and payload values making this a fundamental node for data transformation and manipulation. The change node is essential for preparing data for further processing, formatting messages for specific outputs and adapting data to suit the requirements of downstream nodes in, in a flow. So, uh, it's a very powerful node and uh, we're going to touch on the basics and look at the four main uh, ways you can manipulate data uh, including setting uh, a payload or setting a, a message property uh, the change function the delete function and the move function okay so let's get started I am using the uh, familiar uh, in setup which is uh, I have this running as a docker uh, image in my CentOS 7 environment. Uh, so I have an inject node already here. I have a change node and I also have a debug. So let's get started. Let's clear this up. And uh, the first thing we need to do is uh, just go here and take a look at what's available. So uh, within the change node you have the set you have the change we have the delete and we have the move so I'm going to just quickly uh, go through each of these and um, uh, show you an example so let's start with the first one which is set uh, a message payload and um, what we can do is uh, um, perhaps set it to say let's say hello world and let's save that and here we can say sorry let's say hello world here and uh, save that and on the chain node we want it to reflect and say hello infoverse Okay, it seems to be that triangle indicating an issue with what I've entered. So let's take a look. So message payload. Oh, sorry. So that shows numbers. I need. I'm using strings. So let's select string, and that should be okay. That triangle should go away. That's great. And now all we need to do is that these uh, red uh, circles indicate that we need to deploy these before it can work. So let's hit this. So you saw that I entered uh, hello world in the inject node but uh, the chain node set it to hello inverse so very simple uh, transformation you can say of uh, instead of hello world we converted that into uh, hello in infoverse let's do a little more complicated example where we can actually uh, you know do a conversion between let's say um, two different metric or the um, the imperial system or perhaps changing you know temperature between Celsius and Fahrenheit and such so uh, let's give that a shot um, in the message payload let's say I'm talking about a temperature um, so let me select number and let's say the average human or the normal human temperature which is 36.8 degrees Celsius and we want to convert this into uh, Fahrenheit so let's go into the change node and you can see here set the message load and we need to run so 
a small expression so let's do that so let's do number payload I'm just uh, writing the formula for converting to Fahrenheit it looks good let's save that uh, we need to do a deploy so we are inputting 36.8 which is in Celsius which is the normal um, the good temperature for a human being and let's see what is the output so when we hit inject you can see that um, it, it converted into the corresponding Fahrenheit figure so that's another way to use the set uh, type of that change now let's look at the other one which is uh, change itself so uh, and you can see the format changes a little bit so what we're going to do is um, as the message comes in we are going to search for um, let's say hello and we're going to convert that into or we're going to search for infoverse and we're going to replace it with information is everything so that's done on the change node let's see what we are inputting on the inject node so uh, let's first select string and let's put hello infoverse okay let's save that let's redeploy let's clean this up so we have a nice clean slate and when I hit inject uh, you see that um, it changed the hello so hello remained as it is but it it be sent in hello infoverse and the change node was configured to search for infoverse in that incoming text or payload and then convert or replace that with information is everything so if you look here uh, instead of hello infoverse coming in it's changed to hello information is everything so again, a very powerful way to transform incoming uh, payload, payload or data. Um, okay, let's look at the the other one, which is uh, the delete. So uh, the delete can be uh, used to delete a property. So you know, simply that. Um, let's have a look. So let me give it um, something like. Um, let's say payload dot test so the use case is that um, we might have some data that we want to actually drop or uh, or delete and just work with the rest of the data um, that could be one of the use cases so if you're sending in the payload dot tst we're sending um, let's say we're sending uh, let's say a bunch of numbers so let's say we're sending one two three four five six and we also have another one which is just payload and we here we are sending a string and we're saying hello infoverse so what's going to happen is that uh, let's say we're getting two types of data one is the payload dot test the other is payload and uh, one contains one two three four five six and the other one contains a string so let's save that and over here we're just interested in in the the string uh, as an example so we are using the delete function or delete um, component of change to drop that payload dot test so let's save that let's redeploy and as we send in that data you can see that it dropped the the number and just uh, retained the hello infoverse so very again very powerful way to uh, you know remove uh, entries that perhaps they're uh, you know you, you're not using that in your calculation and you want to uh, clean up the data so you can use the uh, delete um, component to 
uh, drop that or, or remove that from your incoming payload and then let's look at the last one which is a move so move is uh, basically very similar to delete in the sense that it can um, you know change the property types so let's um, get an example here so let's say I have um, an incoming say pressure right uh, I'm reading pressure and I just uh, want to save it as payload or move it into uh, payload over here in the inject node I will be sending in pressure let's say it's a number numeric format let's say 95 psi let me drop this so what we're doing here is um, we are sending a message dot payload dot pressure of 95 and uh, what we want to do is use the change node to actually move that into message dot payload and use that downstream for other functionality so let's save that let's redeploy and you can see that um, it dropped the payload dot pressure and it just um, moved the value into payload dot uh, payload 95 uh, payload now gets the value 95 so uh, perhaps the use case is that uh, you know uh, in, in the next uh, sequence or next step of the process or next you know part of the flow we want to use um, the value that's contained in message dot payload instead of message dot payload dot pressure so again um, you know a very uh, powerful way to move around or change properties change um, the payload types so this was a very short introduction to uh, uh, node reds core one of the core uh, nodes which is called change node we saw how we can use um, the set property the change property the delete property and the move prep property to manipulate transform data in meaningful ways so hope you enjoyed this um, video I'm going to um, link those uh, as I mentioned the earlier tutorials and um, stay tuned for more tutorials on uh, node red and how it can be used to create more complex uh, flows thank you for watching